Well, I will show you how to view images in OmniView. I'm going to start up OmniView. And log in. From the work list, I can select the image that I want to view, the exam that I want to view, by double clicking on it. And the image will show up on the screen. To close the exam, we click the close button and open the work list. You can also select an exam and click the open exam button, exam open. I'm going to close this and go back to the work list. Now I'm going to open an exam that has multiple images. I'm going to double click on this and this is a series of three images and you can use the arrows up here to go to the next image and go back. Also if you have a wheel mouse you can click on the image and roll your mouse button to go to the next image. You can also display multiple images on the same screen by clicking on this button here and dragging out the layout that you'd like to display the images. Since there are three images on this, I'm going to display it one by three and it's going to display the images side by side. You can also hang them on top of each other. So I'm going to do three by one layout. I'm going to go back to viewing one by one by clicking this and clicking one by one layout to go back to the original view. Now I'm going to talk about the different buttons that we have here on the toolbar and go over the simple ones, uh, the ones that you'll be using most when using OmniView. This button here will open the work list again and this one will close it. If you have multiple images on your work list, multiple exams, you can actually click this button to close this exam and view the next one on the list. To window level an image, what you can do is you can left click and select the window level button and you can click and drag the mouse to adjust the brightness or contrast to go left and right. So you can move it left and right for contrast, up and down for brightness. If you want to undo any changes that you've made to an image, you can click on the display original and that'll revert the image back to normal. If you have two images open, you can window level a single image, and I'm left clicking here to window level this single image. I'm going to bring it back to normal. Or you can window level all images in a series. So you can click on the window level all, and you're going to left click and drag and it'll apply all of those changes to all the images in the series. Now I can revert one image back to normal by clicking display original or I can display original on all the images and it'll refresh everything back to normal. By default I'm going to take the window level off by clicking on the cursor by default, if you want to window level without clicking on this, it's set as your right click, right click on your mouse. So I'm going to hold the right click button and move my cursor, and it's going to automatically window level. You can flip an image by clicking on it first, and you can see which image is highlighted by the yellow highlight around the image and you'll know that that image is selected to do the following functions. Here you can flip it horizontally or vertically. You can also rotate the image and I'm going to bring it back to normal. What you can do here is you can invert certain images bring it back to normal and I'm going to bring this back to one by one 
and I'm going to add annotation to this image. So I'm going to click on the T, you're going to have a cursor, and you're going to click and drag out a box for you to type in. When I'm done, I'll just click off the screen, click in this area outside of the box, and it'll add that annotation on there. You can also modif modify this by dragging out the box to modify the size. And you can also drag it around. There are several annotation features on here. You can use an arrow to highlight an area of interest. And you can click on the ends to move the arrow around. Up here on the annotation toolbar, there are the different shapes that you can select. You can select a rectangle, circle, polygon, and freehand draw. What I'll do is I'll select a rectangle and make a rectangle around the area of interest. And there you have it. You can also add measurements and this will give you the measurements between two points. And what you do is you click on measure. You click on the beginning point and hold it and drag it out and let go. And it will give you the reading in centimeters. You can also get the two points and move them around and the distance measurement will automatically change. You can also get the angle between two lines by making a second measurement tool, clicking and dragging it out, holding the shift button and clicking on the second line and it will say make angle information and I'll say hit yes and there you have the angle between these two lines. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to left click and select everything here and I'm going to hit the delete key on my keyboard to remove it. this. You can use the magnifying glass to zoom in and out of the image. What you're going to do is you're going to left click on the area that you want to zoom in on and you're going to move the cursor up. Okay, And then you do the same thing by moving the cursor down. And I'm clicking and I'm moving the cursor down to zoom out. When we're done viewing an image and we've window leveled it to our liking and we want to save the changes that we've made in including annotations, we're going to click File and Save. Now I'm going to close this exam and go to the work list and when I go back to this study, it'll have those changes saved to it. So I'm going to double click on it to open the exam again and here I have the modified image.